Hi, <laughs> it's Des, and it is, let me get my phone, hold on, it is 5.51 a.m. Hi. Hi, 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 I need to relax, I need to calm down. It is Friday, and it's 5 a.m. I woke up at 4. I'm going to school today. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering, why do you have this much energy in the morning? Honestly, it's because like, after like I wake up and then like I just have like an hour of just like silent calm time, then I'm like ready to like do things, you know what I'm saying? But I promise it won't last long. Um, I'm also really excited today because I have a field trip. I'm out of breath from walking across my room to put my phone in the charger. That is so sad. Today's Friday. It is the last day before my Thanksgiving break and I am going to get ready because we're going on a field trip. Our field trip is to the mall. We are literally taking a field trip to like the biggest mall in my city and I'm so excited. There's an ice skating rink in the mall i'm not going ice skating because i don't feel like falling today but but i'm so excited i love this mall i love going to the mall i love walking around i love window shopping but my mom refuses to drive uh 45 minutes away from our house and this mall is 45 minutes away from our house um so i don't get to go there very often because my mom hates driving but school's taking us Let's get ready. So, I already brushed my teeth, washed my face, ate breakfast, and got dressed. Can you see my outfit? <laughs> Can you see my pants? Wait, it's a part of, it's a crucial part of the outfit. <laughs> Can you actually see this? Wait. Can you see? Can you? Ow. I'm not as young as I used to be. If you couldn't see that, and I just did all of that gymnastics for no reason, um, I'm wearing pinstripe jeans. Um, they're jeans, but there's white pinstripes on them, and it's really cute. And this shirt that says fantasy on it. Um, I'm not even going to lie to you. This shirt is cropped, and that is against my school's dress code. But my pants are, like, super high-waisted that, like, you, like, it's okay. Can you see how high-waisted they are? Like, my pants are super high-waisted, and I'm gonna tie a jacket around my waist, so, like, it's fine. And, like, if you're watching this and you work at my school, shh, um, don't worry, it's, it's fine, it's okay. Stop sexualizing my belly button. Anyway, also, if you're wondering, if you are a true subscriber, and you watch my past videos, you would probably be thinking, why would you say that if the principal of your school is subscribed to your channel? Well, the principal that I did a video with transferred schools. He is no longer my principal and he's now a principal of a different school. My heart is broken, I'm so sad, but like, it, I know it, like, it was like a promotion, so now he's the principal of an even bigger school, but like, because <laughs> I loved him anyway. The new principal is cool too, but like, I love Mr. Downs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have to get started with the makeup before my mom tells me it's time to go. Um, so yeah, let's start with eyebrows, which will take me the longest to do. I have an eyebrow pencil. Um, I'm not fully sure if I like it yet, but, so I'm going to try to do this normally. I'm like all up in the mirror, like I this, and like, I don't know if you can see me if I do that. Actually, if I move the camera, you probably can see me. So I'm just going to casually try to angle the camera where you can see me. Yeah. So I'm not going to look at you. I'm going to look at this mirror. 
um, because I don't want my eyebrows to look awful. However, please remember eyebrows are sisters. They are not twins. Uh -uh. So I'm just going to try my best. I don't think I'm the worst at doing eyebrows, but I don't think I'm the best at doing eyebrows. But I also think that about literally everything that I do. I'm not the worst, but also not the best. Yeah, so, um, I don't know if you can hear outside, it's, uh, thunderstorming right now, but that's fine, it thunderstorms a lot in my city, um, it better not flood though, because my city does flood very easily, so fingers crossed that it does not flood, for once in my life I actually don't want the streets to flood on a school day, because <laughs> you have no idea how excited for this field trip. I am like, they told us about the field trip last week on Monday, and I have been counting down the days to this day since then. Like, I literally have never been so excited for a school field trip since like elementary. <laughs> I've never been this excited for like, like I literally planned this outfit like five days in advance. So, if I get dress coded, I will be upset. <laughs> But also, like, dress code is, like, weird. Like, the concept that, like, certain things are, like, considered inappropriate or too provocative is, like, honestly kind of ridiculous. Like, I understand that school's technically a professional setting, but also, like, we're kids. And also, like, we're teenagers that like to be casual, we like to be cute. But also, like... If you're going to say that like wearing ripped jeans, <laughs> like if the rips are above like the knee is like too revealing, then like maybe that says something about you and how you view, you know, young teenagers, <laughs> you know? But also like, you know, I don't know, um, like the entire like no shoulders thing or something like that is kind of like you know first of all y'all don't care if boys show their shoulders um because i have literally seen boys that like change shirts in the middle of class like i've seen boys in the hallway that are like literally walking while they're changing their shirt and like a lot of people don't really say much or I don't see them get in trouble. Maybe they do, and I just don't see it. But, like, you know? But I also understand that it's supposed to be considered, like, a more professional. Not formal, but, like, you know? Space, because it is about academia and, like, learning. But also, school is also, like, a social aspect. Like, school is more than just academics and to stunt students creativity like that like it's weird it's like i understand both sides but also stop stunting my creativity i have so many cute outfits that i could wear to school that i literally like i'm not allowed to because like i'm gonna be dress coded which is interesting because like they're not even that revealing like it's not even like you know like it's like oh my gosh her butt is out you know it's literally not even like that it's just like Oh no, we can like kind of see like a slither of her stomach and it's like they act like that's like the worst thing in the world. I don't know. Um, but yeah, whatever. I don't own or run schools. Um, yeah. I'm pretty happy with this eyebrow. I'm not done with it because I have to go back. Fun fact, um, I do my eyebrows first. That way, instead of having to clean them up with concealer, I just use half of a baby wipe and wipe the rest away. And then I have to do a brow gel. But yeah. I'm also so excited because um, one of my favorite teachers of my entire life um, <laughs> Shout out to you. I love you. 
um, he agreed to let me choose his outfit for today. Like, we're gonna go to a store, and I'm gonna choose his outfit for him. And, like, I can't wait. Like, he normally dresses so, like, preppy white boy. Uh, I don't mean that in, like, a mean way. Like, there's nothing wrong with dressing like Fred from Scooby-Doo. But, you know, you can dress better. <laughs> yeah, he never really wears really interesting pieces or, like, really cool, bold looks. And, like, I am all for a cool, bold look, you know? I literally have Beetlejuice pants. <laughs> I actually almost wore my Beetlejuice pants today, but I was like, mm, they're not as high-waisted as these pinstripe pants, so, yeah. But, yeah, he never really wears, like, really bold colors. He wears, like, khakis, like, every day. And, like, he says it's because, like, I'm a teacher and, like, this is my work. But also, like, even on the days where, like, teachers are allowed to wear, like, casual stuff like jeans and the t-shirt like it's still like he wears like jeans and like a button up and it's like is this what you wear when you hang out on Saturdays and he's like yeah and I'm like okay um you know but I mean once again if it's his style and that's what he likes and like chill but like I just want to see him in something really different and something really new and I feel like all the other students want to see him in something different and really new. He's not gonna buy it of course but like trying it on because I'm a fascinista and I'm a stylist and he's gonna look great. <laughs> I'm thinking like really crazy pants I feel like like if you want a bold outfit just wear really interesting or patterned pants or really colorful pants and then you instantly have a bold outfit because like it's not very common typically people just like wear jeans with everything but wearing putting like a pattern can like make a casual outfit so much more interesting and unique um so yeah I'm definitely going to be looking for some interesting pants for him that's my goal for today I also want him to look like cool for once in his life I'm kidding I'm like dragging him he is pretty cool oh, I just messed up my eyebrow he is pretty cool actually um but he's also like kind of a nerd <laughs> I know you're probably like wow you're being so disrespectful to your teacher right now but like he's a cool teacher except anyone that likes math <laughs> is a nerd um and that's not a bad thing you know good for you be a nerd but also I hate math <laughs> um but yeah he is he actually taught me physics last year I feel like I mentioned him before and he's teaching me AP Cal this year and it's the hardest class that I've ever taken and probably ever will take in my entire life um like genuinely AP Calculus is so hard and like he's like a good teacher but it's like you I know you're trying to explain this to me but like I really don't know how to do anything at all um but yeah, he also assigned homework over the Thanksgiving break. And I'm like, why? Why? I thought you loved us. And he's like, I do love you. You guys just need to practice. And you're like, don't forget. I'm like, don't. <laughs> That's not what he sounds like at all, by the way. But yeah. But um, yeah. So although I hate math and I hate AP Cal, I love the teacher, which is why I'm still in the class. I'm kidding. I actually can't transfer out of any AP classes, which is really sad. My school doesn't allow you to, from my understanding. But that's okay. Um, I'm trying my best. I actually am getting really good grades in this class, which is... <sighs> I'm putting so much, so much effort into AP Calculus, you don't even understand. Like, so much of my focus is on AP Calculus right now, because it's the hardest class in the world and like <laughs> if you don't put like a million and one percent of your energy into it you're like you're gonna fail um so if you see this um mister <laughs> i don't know if he's okay with me saying his name so i'm just not going to but if you're watching this um ap cal is hard that's all i have to say like i know i say that to you like every day but like 
it's really hard <laughs> it's really hard um yeah and he's like he's like math is like fun guys like every day he's like oh my gosh I'm so excited for today's class and it's like you are that's so great for you I'm so glad that you're happy doing this math but like I'm crying so okay um I'm being kind of loud actually but it's okay like everyone in my house is like right now <laughs> and when I, and I also love that I said everyone in my house like there's more than only two people in my house right now my brother's in college um uh yeah I'm tr I don't know if I like these brows or not I feel like there's something I feel like I need to go back in with the pencil I have, so I have no idea how long it's been but uh yeah you as you can imagine I'm I'm late to everything I used to be like the type of person where like I used to really judge people if like they did their eyebrows first and then did like their foundation and like everything else but now I like completely understand because like why would I waste my concealer cleaning up my eyebrows when I can use a light exactly I'm literally sweating and I can't tell if it's like the excitement of like going on this field trip is like making me so excited to go or if it's just like it's hot in here yeah every time I like check to see if I like my makeup I like have to back away from the camera so sorry I'm not in frame but like because like when it's like here it's like wow they look terrible but like from this far away I think they look pretty good I'm actually scared to call my eyebrows good because like I don't want you guys to like come for me in the comments you know what I'm saying but like I think they're pretty good no if they're not like leave advice um but yeah no I feel like they're pretty good now I just have to wait for the eyebrow gel to like dry or whatever I also push down this eyebrow because where my scar is, because uh, um, I actually have a scar that goes straight through my eyebrow. You can still see it. Actually, when the eyebrow gels, I'm going to go back in and try to cover up that scar a little bit more with the pencil. But um, the scar that goes through my eyebrow, like the hair is right before the scar, like curl, like over the scar. And I don't like that. And so I like put brow gel and then like push it like down so it can like dry like flatter. I don't know what am I gonna do next oh I'm gonna do a quick inner corner highlight more if you sponsor me I'm going to use uh, this color this as an inner corner highlight and oh my gosh I didn't think this through oh my gosh I'm just gonna set you guys no not you guys gonna balance this against you guys thanks for holding my palette you guys are so nice um well first I need to make sure there's like nothing in my eye I always hate when there's like eye boogies like right in my inner corner and then I put down a metallic and then it gets on the little eye boogies and then it's like ew I also didn't know that people called those eye boogies until I uh moved um to where I live now and like people call it that and I remember being like that's gross because I'm originally from no the north and I was like that's not a thing up north but okay oh my gosh it's so beautiful oh my gosh Morphe sponsor me use code Dez oh my gosh I wish you can use code Dez I'm sorry you can't you but you can use code like James or like Vic or like Manny MUA or like J Star or like Something like that. Then do it on the other eye. Could you imagine if someone like only did makeup on one eye, then they just like were like, yeah, it's like fine. Is it? Am I crazy, or do these look like two different colors? I use the same color. I think I'm just crazy. Just silence as I focus on not getting the stuff in my oh, okay and now it looks like the same color okay there's like one eyelash just like 
trying to go into my eyeball like I really think it's about to just like fall and I'm like listen eyelash while wow, it's still there well I'm probably gonna have an eyelash in my eye later today so that's fun <laughs> last but not least lip gloss but before I lip gloss I have to put on chapstick can't put lip gloss on dry lips You know what I'm saying? By the way, this is like my favorite lip gloss right now. Um, it's like so perfect because it's basically clear with like a whole bunch of gold like flecks in it. Like look at that. Look at that beauty. I actually used to not be a lip gloss person. But I'm like on the hype now. Like I like understand it. Um Colourpop's lip gloss Disney collaboration. It's starting to rub off in the shade Puppies. I still think they have it. My camera is dying. I have to go. Goodbye. Thank you. Subscribe. Cool. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I